Bluetooth headphones are nothing new, but the landscape for what you can get for your money has changed quite a bit over the years. And today we're looking at a pair that retails for $45. And on paper, they boast a pretty impressive feature set. But how do they perform? Today we're gonna find out and we're gonna make it simple. Greetings and salutations, my friends. My name is Travis, AKA Dad, and welcome to Dad Does Tech. I'm just an ordinary dad who loves tech and camera stuff, and my goal is to help you find the right gear and get the most out of it. And today we are looking at a pair of Bluetooth headphones, specifically the Super EQ S2. These are on-ear headphones, not over-the-ear headphones, and they retail for a price of $45.99. And today you can get them for $39.99, so depending when you are watching this video, go out to Amazon and see if that sale is still live. Like I said at the beginning of this video, on paper, these headphones offer some pretty impressive specs for their price point, and this includes memory foam ear cups, Bluetooth 5.0, CVC 8.0 noise canceling technology for phone calls to give you better phone call quality, 40 millimeter dynamic drivers, 25 hour playtime, and IPX5 water resistance rating. And if that wasn't enough, it also includes ANC or active noise canceling that claims to be able to reduce noise up to 25 decibels. I'm a huge fan of the design of these headphones overall. I really dig the matte black finishes. I'm honestly a really big fan of matte black just about on anything. So when you put it on headphones, you're already speaking my language. The silver chrome lining that goes around the ear cup is a real nice touch. It's subtle, but it makes it pop just enough to make it feel stylish and good looking when you're wearing them. The build of these headphones is mostly plastic, but they do feel quite durable. Coming up out of the ear cups is a metal rod that connects directly into the headband. The headband itself doesn't actually extend or get any longer. In fact, the ear cups move up and down along this metal rod. The ear cups can slide up and down on the metal rod as well as swivel inwards so you can lay the headphones flat on any surface. The headband on these headphones carries along the matte black finishes from the ear cups and it looks really good and the headband feels very durable. It has a lot of flex, making it fit better on most heads, even if you have a bigger head. It doesn't have too tight of a squeeze, but at the same time, it's not so loose that you think it's gonna fall off all the time. Another neat function in the headband is that it has two hinges that allow the headphones to fold in and make them super compact to put in the small carrying bag that that the headphones come with. The underside of this headband has a little bit of a rubber or silicone type padding designed to give you some comfort when you're wearing these headphones so your head's not hitting the plastic. It does an okay job, it's not a ton of padding, but if you've been wearing your headphones for a few hours, you're still gonna notice some downward pressure on your head. That being said, one of the benefits of on-ear headphones versus over-the-ear headphones is they tend to be lighter than over-the-ear headphones, and these are no exception. Because of their plastic build and lightweight materials, these come in at only 210 grams or 7.2 ounces, which is a pretty lightweight pair of headphones. The ear cups on these headphones are made of memory foam wrapped in leather, and while these ear cups aren't very thick in their padding, the ear pads are very soft. When you place the headphones on your head, you can immediately feel the ear cups starting to almost melt over your ears as they contour to the actual shape of your ears, which in the end creates a much better seal and makes your music sound better. If I were to compare the comfort of these headphones to other on-ear headphones, I would say that these are easily some of the more comfortable headphones that I've worn, and I'd probably score them an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. The controls on these headphones are laid out in four tactile buttons that are located on the right ear cup on the headphones. The left and right plus and minus buttons are dual function for your volume as well as long pressing for previous and skipping tracks. The bottom button is dual function as well. Long pressing it will turn your headphones on and off and then double tapping it will summon your assistant. While long pressing the top button will turn on and off your active noise canceling. The Bluetooth connection on these headphones is super strong and I had no problem moving all about my house without my phone and it never disconnected. It was really great but I I love that these headphones come with their own aux cable. So if you need a 3.5 millimeter jack and you wanna plug into your phone or your computer, you can just plug it right into the bottom of your headphones and directly into your device. Easy peasy, no problem. 
All that's still assuming that your phone still has a headphone jack. Yep. Oh, but my phone has a dongle now. No one wants that. With the addition of having a wired connection for these headphones, these headphones have three different modes that you can listen in. A wired connection, a Bluetooth connection, or Bluetooth plus ANC. When you're using your wired connection, you obviously don't need to worry about battery life, but if you decide to take them on the go and use Bluetooth, you'll get as much as 25 hours, and if you're using Bluetooth plus ANC, you'll get about 18 hours. Honestly, I got pretty darn close to every bit of that 25 hours every single time. These headphones do come equipped with microphones for phone calls and virtual meetings. So let's take a listen to some audio samples to see how these microphones sound. This is a microphone test of the Super EQ S2 Bluetooth headphones. Right now we have a Bluetooth connection connected to my Google Pixel 4. This should be roughly what a phone call would sound like while using these headphones. There's no post-processing. What do you think? This is a microphone test of the Super EQ S2 headphones, now in a loud environment. I have some simulated coffee shop sounds going on very loudly in the background. These headphones do a pretty good job of drowning out that sound in my ears, but it'll be interesting to see how my voice comes across. What do you think? I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on those audio samples down in the comments down below. But in my opinion, I've had these long enough to try them in a number of different phone calls and in a lot of meetings on Zoom as well as Microsoft Teams, and they've performed exceptionally well every single time. Because the microphones are a little bit closer to your mouth than earbuds, they perform way better than almost all earbuds I've tried in this price range, but comparatively to other headphones in this price range, they still are as good if not better than some of the better ones I've tried. So in my opinion, they're a slam dunk for phone calls. Now, while I think the mic quality on these headphones is pretty darn good, there is one thing you need to be aware of when you're trying to use them for phone calls or virtual meetings. And that is when you use the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and plug into your device, the microphones on the headphones become disabled. So they're only able to be used when they're in Bluetooth mode. I think that's kind of weird. I'm not a big fan of that. So if you can get by with just using the Bluetooth connection, you won't have any problems. But if you're wanting to plug in, it can't be done. It's time to move on and talk about everyone's favorite question when it comes to headphones, and that is, how do they sound? And that's a loaded question. I'm gonna go ahead and say, great question mark? When you listen to these headphones in their wired mode or in their Bluetooth mode, the sound is enormous. These sound great. If you like big beefy bass, then you're gonna love these headphones because they sound really big and the thump of the bass is it's super good. It's really good. If you listen to hip hop and R&B and you really want that low end, these are gonna sound fantastic. It does have almost too much bass in my opinion. On some of the songs, it just kind of rolls over the mids a bit. And now for some people, they may like that. If you like the sound of Beats headphones, you'll probably like the sound of these. However, it's the tale of two experiences because when you turn on ANC, the bass just flatlines. Now I'm no stranger to how ANC works and that the sound will change as soon as you activate noise cancellation on your headphones, but this is a very severe and drastic change to the point where the bass is literally almost completely gone and the music now is very flat and balanced. Now a balanced sound is good, but when there's not enough of the low end, you just feel like the music isn't dynamic and almost not worth listening to anymore. I find the bass side to be much more of an enjoyable overall experience. However, I still find that I prefer just a little bit less bass and being something called the super EQ, you'd hope that there was a way to EQ them, but there's not. You gotta like one of the two experiences you're gonna get or you're gonna need some type of third party app to EQ your headphones. But for the average person who really just wants to hear their music and have it sound great, you're probably gonna really love these headphones, especially if you love bass. As far as volume is concerned, these headphones get pretty loud. So you're gonna have no problem listening to these headphones, even in loud environments when you have a lot of outside noise. But if you are listening to these headphones in a quiet environment, at about 50% volume, there was a little bit of noticeable sound bleed starting to creep in. So that means if you're listening to your headphones in a place that's quiet, 
people around you may start to be able to listen and hear what it is you're listening to. So if you want to avoid any sound bleed and people being able to hear what you're listening to, you're gonna wanna keep your volume lower than 50%. One of the important things to think about when shopping around for new headphones is how they perform with latency, especially video latency specifically. Can you watch videos without any noticeable audio delay? And on these headphones, I'm happy to report it was very minimal in YouTube, maybe a microsecond of delay in YouTube, and I didn't notice any at all when I was watching Netflix, Hulu, or Disney+. Plus. So if you're watching videos on these headphones, the experience should be pretty good. Probably one of the most important and biggest surprise features on these headphones given their price range is that they have ANC or active noise cancellation. So the big question is, does it actually work? So the short answer is yes, it works, and it works a lot better than I thought it would really. However, it also is very clear the good ANC and okay ANC, there is a huge gap between them. When you have okay active noise canceling, there tends to be just this kind of pressurization on your ears when you turn it on. It almost feels like you're on a plane. And after a while, for me, that just gets kind of annoying and I don't really care for it after a while, but it does work. So if you need it for focusing and you wanna cut out some of that low end frequency, it does work. The marketing materials do claim 25 decibels of noise cancelization. I don't know if that's true, that's a, that's a lot, so it seems kind of like a reach to me, but given that you're getting a feature that is usually on much higher end headphones, I say take it. Overall, these headphones pack a ton of features into a small, compact form factor, but they do have smaller ear cups, so it's worth mentioning that I think they'll perform better on people who have smaller ears. But in general, I think these headphones offer a great performance to price ratio, which make them an exceptional value for $45, and they get my stamp of approval. And that's it, that's all I got. So if you like this video, you found it helpful or mildly entertaining, please go ahead and smash that like button. Click subscribe for more videos like this. Tap the little bell icon to get notified when I make more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.